in order to transmit this to the audience? Well, I don't have 7,000 years worth of trauma, <laughs> but I do have, I, I have experienced. Um... It's beautiful, isn't it? Hello, thank you for yeah. having me. Thank you for your time. Thank you. <laughs> you know, um, I remember when I was a little girl uh, that in the church, they told me that after I die, I will live forever and for eternity with God. And since, since that moment, I found the concept of eternity to be really scary. So I wanted to ask you, how do you feel about eternity? What does it mean to you? I thought about that when my mother passed away and you when you're very aware of how that things do end and life does end and that this person you love can suddenly be gone and you don't know you want to believe that they're I don't I don't know what I believe is past or where she went but what I believed was eternal was that her imprint on her what she did with her life with her kindness and her love and her family then transferred to me and now every day transfers to my children the essence of her spirit, her warmth, her love um, does keep, it grows with, within us because it's something that we, we, we can feel and you can pass on. So I think to me, that's, that's what that is. That's what kind of existing forever in some way or, or leaving something behind is about. That, that's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that with me. And actually like the enigma and the mystery surrounding your character is something that I really found fascinating. You can feel that she's carrying a lot in her head. So how did you work to, in order to transmit this to the audience? Well, I don't have 7,000 years worth of trauma, <laughs> <laughs> but I do have, I, I have experienced um, trauma and I do worry sometimes or have worried, been in, in, a, in a heavy place, wondering if I am capable of all the things I need to be and do for those I love, which is her big struggle, not just that she's feeling imbalanced, but really that can she protect those she loves? Can she, can she be of use to those she loves and, and do what's needed? Um, I think most people feel that, most parents feel that. But so I, I suppose I just let all my vulnerabilities show. You just bring forward It was an interesting character because I had to bring both my strength and do my fight training and my ballet and be the strongest person I could be, but also be the most um, vulnerable uh, within the same character. So I, as an actor, I found that a really fun challenge. Nice, and it really worked perfectly. Uh, even though this film is centered around the Eternals, all the MCU movies are connected. So in order to create your character, how much did you need it to know about what is coming in the future of the MCU? They don't tell us very much. Okay. So <laughs> I don't know. And I'm still, even though I'd seen a lot of Marvel films, I was still confused and still am learning about the oh, yeah, right. all the parts, all the pieces, all the how it fits together. I do love the idea that we've been around for so long. So anything that predates today, we've been there. And what we were doing, we had many funny conversations on set of what we've been doing over the years and where we <laughs> right. were during different times in history. So it's fun, but I don't know where they're going to take us from now or whether we switch into each other's films or, you know, I don't know. Um, All right, we'll see. Thank you so much uh, for your time. Nice talking to you. Thank you. Thank you. And it when you said good.